guys and welcome to Home With Lace. So today's video, if you watched my previous video, which I will have linked right here in the cards, was supposed to be a DIY coffee bar. So unfortunately I won't be able to share my coffee bar DIY. Those files were deleted off of my hard drive when it crashed and I am not able to recover those files. So, so I won't have that video up. Sadly, I know, I think I have a couple clips that I can show at the end of this video just to kind of show you the process, but I don't have a lot. But the show must go on, so we're going to be doing a fall decorate with me. I am going to add a little bit of a tour to the coffee bar just because you weren't able to see that process. So let me know what your favorite season is to decorate. This is my first time decorating for fall. I typically decorate for Halloween. So I am pretty excited that I am able to decorate my coffee bar. Um, I'm super stoked at how it turned out and I hope you guys like it too. So let's get to it. Here's my fall decor this year. Most of these items came from either Target or Home Goods, and then like these three items right here came from Aldi. But like I said, I don't really ever decorate for fall, so this is my first time. start decorating the coffee bar until I have some iced coffee in my hand. This time around to stay festive with the fall theme, I am making a pumpkin spice iced coffee. So decorating seldom comes out right the first time. You just kind of have to keep playing with different things and seeing what works out for you. Like you can see here, I'm trying out the coffees on this stand and I'm just not really happy with it. So I'm trying to figure out a different way to repurpose it. Why always a wall, babe, when we wanna come closer? Don't tell a million lies. Kill the butterflies. I just wanna make things right. When I was thinking about a theme, I couldn't really think of anything. I just wanted to go to the store and kind of see what was out there. Do any of you like go to the store knowing exactly what you want to do when you decorate or do you just kind of let what's there dictate where you're going with it? Voices telling me you need to let him go 
So I am cleaning up my mess here in a few seconds I will show you the final look. Take it back. Say it again, say it again. You want my forgiveness, so say it again. You're my thunder of my dog is You just can't go back and make it right. So I started with no rhyme or reason, but I ended up going with a purplish, maroon, orange, and mustard yellow, and I think it turned out really pretty. Yeah. turned out very subtle it's not too over the top and it still blends in nicely with my year-round decor only you can do that my heart was open wide i could feel it breaking deep inside because it's too late your time is So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I was going to show you a little bit of how I made this DIY coffee bar. So I started off with this hutch and I paneled the doors and the drawers and then I added new handles, added furniture legs and took off the bottom piece and replaced it with a straight piece of wood to make it a more modern aesthetic. I also then sanded and stained the wood fronts and then I painted the body a white. And here is a clip of the before drawer and then the drawer that I was doing in progress. And then also this is the piece at the bottom that I was talking about that I replaced. I was down with an illusion like a sparrow with broken wings but now I shine with your reflection on me. I wasn't able to recover the actual paneling process when I cut the plywood and created a shaker style door and drawer front but I was able to recover a small clips of the sanding process and then the staining process and I used the Minwax wood finish penetrating stain in the color special walnut So here's another close-up of the doors and the drawers and then also a close-up of the 
candles, I went with a lucid candle with a gold accent and I thought it went well with the rest of the decor in the house, but also these really cute gold furniture legs. So this is how I organized all the doors in the drawers. In this cabinet here, I have my wine rack and wine glasses. So in this drawer I have all of our grilling essentials, spatula, thermometers, veggie basket, coffee bar is right across from our backyard entrance. And then in this drawer I have all of our coffee mugs. In the top drawer, I am keeping all of our tea essentials. So we have our honey stirs, our spoons, any straws, extra coffee, coffee syrups, tea strainers, tea bags, some extra coffee mugs, those are for the boys. And then in the back there, I have, have the letters to the board that I have on the shelves up top. I don't understand. And then in this cabinet, we keep our paper and cardboard recycling. The floating shelves were also a part of that DIY. I got the brackets from Amazon and then I just purchased a eight inch piece of wood, cut it to size and stained it. If I had an option to be someone else, I would. So hey guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And if this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for watching. I create videos on home renos, DIYs, cook with me videos and cleaning. And if that is your vibe, I hope you hit that subscribe button so you can become part of our YouTube family. And let me know what you thought of the DIY coffee bar. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you will be back for some more. Thanks again and I will see you next time. Bye bye.